everything. Hey guys, I uh, wanted to talk to you about Codecademy's Ready program, where uh, it's for uh, basically their freelance website development. I'm guessing they might expand this down the road, but it's basically a nine week online course. And I've got a few questions about it, and I, I thought I'd share my thoughts real quick because I think there's some there's some benefits to it, and there's some uh, disservices the way that it's packaged that I, I think uh, could provide provide a little bit of context for those who may just be looking for like a quick fix to get their foot in the door. Um, the one thing that I really don't like about this uh, more than anything else is how they're marketing it as freelance web develop website development. Um, to be a developer, you really have to know JavaScript or be familiar with JavaScript frameworks, and they don't talk about that at all in these nine weeks. They basically cover HTML, CSS, and it's a it's a little bit misleading, and you're not really going to have very much success being a freelancer uh, knowing just that. And I that's probably my biggest gripe with it. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and go over it piece by piece, and we can talk about what's in the course, and we'll do a more detailed dive. They, they do have a syllabus here, and I highly suggest you check it out just so that you can kind of do a bit, little bit of research on your own. I have reached out to them and say, hey, can I take this course for free, and I'll do some videos to evaluate it. Uh, they haven't got back to me, but I would love to do that So because right now I can obviously only give my opinion about what they have presented. But, but as a, you know, a salaried web developer I think I might have a little bit of insight of what that so what, what what do you get from this course at the end of the day you get a little code Academy credential kinda of cool right uh, everyone loves getting those credentials myself included uh, that you can put on your resume and uh, you your it'll be an HTML CSS command line plus Git and design principles this command line and Git, they probably could have left that out and put JavaScript in here and it would have been much better um, now uh, it shows here what you'll be doing over these it's nine weeks right so HTML which is good CSS is good command line and git uh, they could have skipped over that not really gonna be all that helpful layout is good so there's not a lot of great layout things uh, which is basically another way of doing responsive design and kind of organizing your code using CSS and Flexbox this is a really good I like that this is in here um, responsive web this is great also you need to make things responsive for tablets and phones Design principles, also good. Uh, probably not as appreciated as it should be. More uh, CSS libraries, and then uh, projects. Now, what do you? Uh, what is? What does it cost? It costs five hundred dollars, uh, which is a lot, in my opinion, for what you're getting offered. They they expect you to put in about ten hours a week. That doesn't mean you're going to be getting ten hours a week of help, by any means. Um, and it's about nine to ten weeks. So for five hundred bucks, you are going to be doing basically ten hours of work a week. I personally think your money would be better spent buying a $10 Udemy course for each one of these and using that to uh, follow their syllabus. So let's talk about their syllabus real quick uh, before anything else. So their syllabus, uh, they talk about what, you know, introduction to HTML, setting up your text editor. This is something, you know, a lot of people use maybe CodePen when they're getting started. That could have some benefit. Um, but what you're really gonna get uh, value-wise out of this is having a working portfolio and having projects. Now, these are offline projects. They say it right here. Where is it? Uh, offline projects. What that means is you're gonna be getting very little help and you're gonna be doing this on your own most of the time. That is really what that means. And that, but if you can and the you know follow along, uh, you should be able to do these projects. And so you have one project, two project, three project, four project. This Chrome Dev Tools, that's cool. So you get to see uh, how to use the developer tools that are built into Chrome. That's actually really helpful. I like that a lot. Um, that More projects. Again, this is all going to be based off you, really, is how well and how much time you put into each one of these projects. More projects. Um, it's nice you're getting introduction to Git. I don't think you really need the command line aspect of it. Uh, for such a basic course I think it's kind of just adding something in there to add it in there um, then you have responsive design flexbox more projects more projects um, let's see here I wish I wish they would get rid of all these projects that were kind of not all super relevant like secret agent supply incorporated like I'd rather have more realistic projects for some of these like this one's all right 
for a new glasses site okay like that's a good project but this one they should probably put things in that are actually going to be more relatable um design lots of stuff going on design uh bootstrap so you'll be learning about bootstrap i'm not super stoked that they're gonna have you jump right into a library uh when you're just learning and that's what this is designed for but uh wireframing is good and um so the, what you're going to get out of this is really an introduction, but I, I just want people to know like you're not going to be a freelancer and you're most definitely not doing web development. You're doing web design at the end of the day and uh, you're not going to be a web developer after these nine weeks. And this whole name of it, freelance website development, is really misleading. Um, it, should, it should be something like um, front-end web design or web design. This is a whole web design course. Uh, this is for web design, not web development. And um, I think uh, people's time and energies might be better spent uh, saving their $500 and maybe buying a, uh, following the syllabus for the most part, um, and uh, taking those projects, building them on your own, and actually following uh, guides on YouTube or Udemy and going from there. And if you really want to spend $500 hiring a tutor for like 50 bucks an hour, one hour a week. That's really that's really my advice. Um, that's my thoughts on it. I hope they reach back to me and I can kind of uh, go through the program on my own and give you a much more in-depth. But for what they s have here, it's so misleading, this, this freelance website development. But hey, if you, if you decide to try it and you come across this video and you're, you, get, you complete it, reach out to me. I'd love to interview you and talk to you about it so that we can get a first-hand experience. Um, this is their, their new program they're trying to do. I, I would expect to see much more of these moving forward. But that's my thoughts about it. I hope you guys found it helpful. As always, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And support me on patreon.com slash codingtutorials360. I'll see you guys in the next video. That's it for now. Special thanks to our sponsor, Dev Mountain. If you're interested in a coding boot camp, why don't you check them out where they include housing alongside their tuition so you can get up, go, and immerse yourself in the environment. If you want to support me, go over to patreon.com slash codingtutorials360 so we can put out more content. Thanks for watching.